Guess who's back? It's me, Ryan, after a long time. Alright, so let's make this interesting. Thank you for stopping by today. This is Ryan. I'm taking the opportunity to tell a story. Uh, I don't tell many stories from my past, but I thought this one would be particularly interesting. So, here it goes. Some background information. Wait, before that. This is the story about my work experience on a particular day when I was in the United States as a cultural exchange student and one of those J1 programs. Alright, now for the background information. I worked at a pizza restaurant, I can't say which state or which company. I was one of those persons that could function in multiple job roles depending on where the management needed me. But I digress. On this particular evening, I worked on the register. I believe it was between 6 and 7.30. How it worked was that during that period of time, I worked at the register up front. And at one point, this young couple came in. You could tell that they were in age bracket from 18 to 19 to 23, 24. All right, so this young couple came in and you could tell they were going out, but later on, we realized that things weren't quite right. Let me tell you why that is. So, silly me is at the register, waiting for persons to come up to make their order. And then, when this couple came up, the lady said to me, Hi, yes, good evening. I see that you have a wide assortment of pizzas and such and then I said absolutely is there anything that you'd like in particular and then we went on and on about the different options that we offered and then she spoke pleasantly and I was pleasant with the way I spoke about the different options that were available I dropped a one two compliment here and she laughed and she smiled and I thought hey everything seemed okay I took the order I took the money and all these things all was well then I was there for a while the the lady went to the restroom but the guy went outside I left the cashier for about a minute or so and then when I get back I realized that the same guy, he's driving out. Mind you, while all of this is happening, my friend's wife is sitting right there, seeing this whole thing unfold, not knowing how bad things were about to get. So, when I saw the guy I left, I said, hmm, maybe the lady knows what's happening and it's alright. Because the... The order will take some time to come through and such. So the lady comes back from the restroom. She looks around and says, Um, excuse me, did you see which way my boyfriend went? And, and then I said, Um, I saw him drove out a moment, I saw him drove out a moment ago. And then she looked at me and then she looked out and then she said, Oh my gosh. And then she left the store. Now I'm confused. And my friend's wife is there laughing a little bit after she went out. And then I turn to her and I say, um, I don't understand what's happening. And then she looked at me and said, it, it looks as though her boyfriend's a bit insecure. And I couldn't quite figure out what that meant but I found out later anyway, but I digress. I went on to my duties just the same. 13 minutes later, I see the lady come back. Then she said to me and my colleague who were there at the register, she said, excuse me, would you happen to have seen my boyfriend come back? And, and then I said no. I'm not sure which way he went. 
do you know when he's coming back? Then she said no. And then it rested there for a minute. I look outside. I see this man drive past again. She's on her phone for a bit. Then she suddenly gets up and goes back outside again. This time, walking up the side of the road, I could visibly see until I saw her no more. Their order's ready, and it's sitting there in that warmer thing, waiting. 13 minutes later, the man drives in again. But I was not there. But what I was told after he had left was that he came to check and see if his girlfriend was there. And then my colleague said, no, she, she got her order earlier and started walking up the road. And then he said, oh my gosh. And then he left again. Now they're both out of the restaurant at this point. And I'm dumbfounded. And I'm saying, wait, this doesn't sound right. So the same colleague from earlier said, it sounds like they have insecurities in their relationship. And I said, no, nah, it couldn't be. So, eight minutes later, the lady comes back, leaves a tip at the cashier, and says, uh, I'm, I'm sorry about all of this. And then me and my colleague are there at the register saying, I said, no, don't worry about it, miss. And then my colleague said, will you be all right? He looked like you're right home. Uh, I'm not sure. He's upset because he thought I was flirting with the cashier. And she said that while looking at me. And I'm there thinking, but I did nothing wrong. I was as pleasant as I normally am. But this was after she left again. But this time she left for good. So, after that, my position was moved and they had me answer phones for a while. But there was a moment I had to go to the oven. And when I was at the oven, I could see the entrance from the oven because the place is relatively small and there's a door right there separating the main hall from the kitchen. And I glance outside for a moment and then I see the man come back. I saw the man return and he's there and he looks a bit agitated and impatient. And all of a sudden I hear someone say, Hey Ryan. There's a guy outside asking for the cashier he saw earlier. Says he's looking for you. So I stood there for a moment and I thought about it. And I'm thinking, hey, I don't think it's a very good idea for me to go out there. Maybe I shouldn't go out there. So I put the stuff I had down. I went through the door. The guy made one step. And then my friend's wife said, um, he said, um, she said, um, what did she say again? Uh, your girlfriend went home earlier because I believe she was trying to look for you but couldn't find you. While she's talking to the guy, I step back inside then he calms down then he apologizes to my colleague that was there with me earlier when the lady came back and then he got in his car and left i never knew how that situation turned out but i hope they're doing all right i meant no harm i was just trying to be polite so it was from that day i realized Relationships aren't always what they seem to be. They, they see me smile, but they don't know what's happening inside. 
and that's my story. Alright, so I thought I'd tell a little story since this video was particularly long. And I hope it was amusing. I hope you got a laugh out of it and such. I don't know if I can do more stories like this because I don't have many stories. And many of them have personal details and such. But if this gets enough feedback, I'll probably do more of them. So, that's that. So I'm just going to leave you, leave you to the rest of the digital painting. Thank you so much for listening.
Thank you.